with each other. What I find in the Democrat Party, why are you guys so hostile to Christians? Like, like bigoted even. It's pretty Rich. sad. Rich, this is Laura, and I am the co-host hey, Laura. here. Hi, and I've been listening to what you have to say. Um, I don't know where do you get your information, first of all. I think that's a fair question for me to ask. What information specifically? Like Everything I said? Or? Well, let's say um, you said that you would be voting for Jesus Christ, but instead you was on the ballot. Trump. What makes you, wait a minute, one second. What makes you think that Trump is a conservative Christian? What gives you that idea? Well, I'm going to uh, tell you, I look at what the candidates do. So let's say Biden put in Supreme Court judges that overturn Roe versus Wade, which right. is genocide on, on, on babies. Um, I would love that. I would say, wow, Biden did very well. So I look at him uh, putting forth uh, pro-life judges. Now, I, I agree with you that neither one is the epitome of Jesus Christ, who I would love to have on the ballot, but I'd rather vote for someone that's that put in pro-life I, judges and finally okay. killed uh, Roe versus Wade, which was a oh. wonderful day, don't you think? All those babies I being able know, to it wasn't live. Because, because, listen, Rich, what about Why the, lady, the, the, the wife and mother well, in, in, in Texas who have to Rich, leave? But, oh, go ahead. Go ahead, David. That's not me talking. That's him. Yeah. Okay, I know. Uh, I, she, she left I, Texas. She left Texas to have an abortion because it will save her life. You should have two children, and the third one is not viable. The doctor said if she don't have if she don't have an abortion, the baby is either going to kill her because it's going to die inside of her. So, uh, the or one. if the baby is born, it's not going to live past three, four, five days. And if right. it does live past three, four, five days, it's going to have developmental problems where the brain don't develop and other things don't develop. So why why have a baby knowing that it's going to die or you could die from it as a woman? You know, and speaking of Trump, you know, Trump is not sent by Jesus Christ. That's what right-wing conservatives always say. You know, remember when he had that uh, thing where he held the Bible upside down and everything? To me personally, I think that Donald Trump, you know, Donald Trump is the epitome of everything wrong with the right wing in America because you know he's not Christian. He's been married three times and each of these wives he cheated on. You know, so why would as a Christian you'd vote for somebody so, you know, sacrilegious and disgusting and you know talking about grabbing a woman oh, by I the hoo ha. Oh yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I thought that I totally agree. I'll I'll make it quick cause I, Oh go ahead, Sharon. Sorry to interrupt. One other question. Are you, have yes, you been watching the Jean Carroll uh, case, the E. Jean Carroll case? Have you watched that at all? You know, have you, I watched it. Is that the lady that said, it, it's funny because the, the, you're saying that what she said, if, and she loved the show Law and Order, it matched exactly an episode of Law and oh, Order. Isn't that so I no, don't know. No, There's no, something no, kind of mental with that no, lady, I think. Rich, listen, Rich, facts are facts. She went through court. She had seven. Uh, she had a jury, and the jury decided that with the evidence that, that uh, uh, they provided, that he committed sexual assault. And not only did he commit sexual assault, after that, he defamed her how many times? So, and not only that, can put her life in jeopardy, put the judge's life in jeopardy, put the clerk's life in jeopardy, because he was going on through social and talking about the case, and you know that you're not supposed to do that. So why a man, and, other, and another thing, there are 25 more women that have come forward and have charged him with sexual assault or rape, 25. So this is not a godly man. This is not a Christian man. This is not a good husband. This is not a good human being. This is none I of think, those things. He is, hold on, I, let me finish. I, I think he yes, is a man that is running, running away from his past 
because if you go into his past, if you've been following him at all in his past, he has done, the, the things that he has done has been over and over, he's done over and over again. The problem is he's never been caught. He's never been caught. He's never had to face any consequences because He's always had people to take care of him, like his, his father when he was younger. And then as time went on, when he went into his father's corporation, his father took care of him until he died. And then whoever was in, in the Trump corporation took care of him. He was never a good man. He was never a man that loved people. He always was down on people. So for you to support someone that does not even love this country, does not love women, talks about them like they're dirty and they're ugly. You've heard the word. And as far as black people, anyone that comes in through the, comes into the country that does not have white skin, he does not like them. And if you think that he does have any respect for any of them, you're absolutely mistaken. And that is the reason why I asked you, what news sources do you follow? Because that means a lot. And it means a lot because I had a girlfriend that was I was very close to. And she was a Catholic. She was very Christian. She was a Catholic and the best Catholic I ever knew. All right. She went down what I call the rabbit hole. And she started to believe all these horrible things. And, you know, she had a nervous breakdown because of it. And now, and now she realized that she made a mistake. And it took her two years to get back, to come back into the living instead of wanting to kill herself, truthfully. So I don't understand how anyone can support a man that, that really does, is, he's got 91 indictments against him as well. He sold documents. He has cheated on his taxes. That's coming next. He has, I'll tell you, I'll tell you people. why when you're done. It, it, Pardon? I don't want to interrupt. Oh, go what? ahead. I, I, I mean, I would like to really give you an answer oh, that I think you guys yeah, are going to like, right which ahead. is the truth. Okay. Okay. Go right so ahead. I truth, think, we'll see. I, I think if we were honest, uh, we I'm being in honest. general, I, not not you that guys I said specific, was true but I, and honest. I, you can take I, that I'm, to the bank. Okay. So I think if we were honest, it, like I, we in general, like the world. It's really, they're really kind of, I, I can understand if they did one lawsuit against them or two, but it's, they really made it so obvious. They probably should have just did a few lawsuits. This is just my opinion. What does it matter? But they've gone, I, 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 I didn't interrupt you. Do you think he's going to be charged and for every single lawsuit? He broke the law all those times. Why should he get away with it? I would like if the you answer. If he did, you would be in prison right now. You would not be doing rallies. You have to understand that. You have. I, to I would like the answer. It. Go ahead. Yes. So, so what what happens when you you listen to these suits that are being brought against him, and you listen to like. Uh, the Secretary of States and these different states that are trying to take them off the ballot, and you you listen to this. Yeah. It's because it's the really. I, can I the please? I, I'm almost I, I'm almost done. I promise. And thanks okay. for being so kind. Um, okay. It, it's kind of too obvious that that we would all agree that it always is these Democrats that are doing it, which it's that's the right to do it. Okay, okay. but it's. Here's, but here's, so on that, it's, there's a reason why he's going up in the polls the more lawsuits are against him. It's the dumbest thing that they could have done. If I was trying to defeat Trump, I would say don't keep bringing all these lawsuits because it makes it kind of look like, like we're dishonest. Okay, and then I want to just kind of finish, but go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Who, who is bringing these lawsuits, do you think? Who do you think is bringing the lawsuits? Well, you have Jack Smith. Okay. Um, Jack, right. You know, and then you have um, that other lady that had the affair with, <laughs> you know, the one that, that had the affair, and, she, and she's corrupt. And so, who, okay, well, well, stop, 
and, exactly and who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, brother. Um, so, yeah, and so she had an affair with, and so exactly, she's, hold on, and she, hold on, well, can I, stop before you I, I never get a chance to finish. I well, was, I'm sorry, but you cannot Lori, do Lori, let him finish, and we'll make the point afterward. Lori, okay. let him finish. All right. Okay. okay. So Lori, Lori, go, go ahead. I'll remember it. I'll remember it, but next time. Go ahead, Lori, because I don't want you to lose your thought like I, I might. <laughs> that, I was going to say that that has not been proven. What Trump has done is basically like the eating pill case, that's done, okay? He did that. He's going to pay for it, all right? Now, go ahead. Fannie Willis. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Laura. That, if you're talking about Fannie Willis, that has not, has not been proven. And then I'll give you reasons as to why I think it's a scam. But go ahead. I'll let you talk. Well, well, yeah, what I want to do is really answer what both of you said out of respect to you, because you guys always been so nice to me when I call in. And, um, okay. It's hard to find a radio show where like people will like talk to you and stuff, and and it's good that we're all passionate yeah. about it because this is the way we all come to the uh, true conclusion. Yeah. But here's exactly. I want to tell you, you may not agree with it or disagree with it, but I want to tell you just my opinion. We'll call it my opinion. Why yeah. people are wanting to vote for Trump? Okay, mm-hmm. and, and mm-hmm. I know because I hang out with these people. OK, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. not because they go around saying they're racist. Uh, most mm-hmm. of the there's lots of black voters that I know, Texas, California, um, they love Trump, you know. Mm-hmm. So what is the reason? Here's the reason. OK. And it's, you can mm-hmm. go to his website, you know, and you could see the reason. So what mm-hmm. he's doing is he's getting different issues. He's talking about immigration. He's talking about how, you know, drill, baby, drill. I won't go through the whole thing because I don't want to turn into like an advertiser, but you get the idea. Yes. So, so yes, I'm very when he aware gets... of what, I am very aware of what he said. And actually, he doesn't say that on the campaign trail. And I'm very aware of what's in his, um, uh, in his website. I, it's, it's all a bunch of BS. He's done none of that. He's not even talked about it. So we can go no, through no, and what... we can talk about it. Lori, what I'm talking about is he's got a list of things that he's saying. It's all new so stuff, it's okay? It's like, oh, yeah, I, I know. I agree with you. But this is, this is what the – so I'm just trying to get you to understand why I uh, – like, let's say you guys are driving and I saw you broke down the size of road. I would stop and help you. You guys would do the same thing for me. Of course we so, would. There's lots of similarities, you know, between all of us. So then why is it that you guys can be so intelligent? I mean that sincerely. And I could be intelligent. (laughs) And we come to a disagreement. I think a lot of it has to do with deep-rooted beliefs that you guys have and deep-rooted beliefs Mm -hmm. that I have. I'm a Christian. I believe, you know, in pro-life. I believe that people shouldn't cut in line. If Lori, if you were at line at – let's say Nordstrom's or Walmart mm-hmm. or whatever, and some guy mm-hmm. went and cut in front of you, that's mm-hmm. unfair. Well, that's what the illegals are doing. They're cutting they in front of illegal, line. They're immigrants. They, first of all, <laughs> oh, hey, I remember you. That's terminology, please. Well, when they cut in front of line. Yeah, so when they're cutting in front of line, everyone hates mm-hmm. that. Muslims, Jews, atheists, mm-hmm. we all hate it when people, you know, are rude and they cut in front. So those mm-hmm. people, uh, we won't call them, I don't want to get that lady mad at me, we won't call them illegal, but we call them cutter and fronters, and they're cutting in front of line. So anyways, um, and this isn't just a problem here. I was just watching a video in the U.K., and they've got this same issue, you know. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. so, so long story short, and I'll come up for some air, so... It was amazing to me because I, I was when, uh, you know, Bob Dole was running. I remember that. And, but I've never seen anything mm-hmm. like with the, with the Trump, the way that it is. You'll have people there. I'm not kidding you guys. You'll have people like the most flamboyant uh, gay guy and the lesbian. And then you'll have this conservative Christian lady or a, a – extreme conservative Christian, you know, guy like me. And we're all mm-hmm. getting along. And the reason why is it's because 
what he's saying that he's going to do and, and mm-hmm. what he has done. I, the, but the main thing for me, and then I'll, I'll stop, I, I never, I prayed. You, you know that Claudine Gay lady that was with Harvard, the president? And, and yes. yeah. they were interviewing mm-hmm. her, and they said, well, mm-hmm. is, are you allowed in Harvard to just threaten Jews? that you're going to kill him. And she goes, well, it's not necessarily wrong. So I prayed real hard and she stepped down. So that proves that you can pray the gay away. I'm just throwing that out there. Oh. <laughs> no, but, um, that, that, no, that, that, that wasn't, yeah, that no, wasn't the question she was asked. My head is going oh, what was that oh. question? I didn't hear it. She, she was asked I about to... hate speech and could a certain phrase, river to the sea, be considered hate speech, and why is it allowed at Harvard? And, of course, the professor, being a professor, because a conversation like that needs nuance, she wanted to get into, well, uh, it depends. And she would get into yeah, the she of what hate that. speech were. But, no, that's a, that's a realistic answer. That's actually what's in their books. Like, if you go to Harvard or any other school and you read the course rules of, about behavior and what's allowed on campus, that's the way that they actually approach it. But the Republicans wanted the sound bite, so they set it up where Stefanik could ask the question and then treat it as if this person was against them. When in reality, Claudine Gay is infamous for being on campus and going against uh, the Palestinian group that was on campus, the young black group who was on campus, uh, asking that they could put together an advisory board against racism. Claudine Gay denied both of those and actually put a uh, board together for anti-Semitism on that board. So she's actually a friend of the people uh, that people assume that she was against. So the Claudine Gay yeah, story I, I think, I think is we a, all agree she shouldn't have answered sir, like sir, that. Sir, she should have said, sir, sir, no, sir, we shouldn't sir, have. Sir, 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 you made your point already. The point no, was, I actually didn't. This was, the, this was typical right-wing hysteria driven by Crip. Chris Russo, Rufo on the internet, like you can look all this up, but where they talked about what they wanted to do to Sister Gay, and then you come on as a Christian celebrating that woman getting fired. So, well, do you think? Well, she was a plagiarist. Kind of quiet ah, on your end there, isn't it? Story. Ah, kind of quiet. You got real quiet when I said that. So I think that's why no, they got rid of her too. Plus, that I pray that she would be no. let go. You can't pray no. the gay away. I proved it. <laughs> well, you've made questions. that joke twice. Why? That's a good joke. <laughs> why are you, what, what has made you in your life, besides being a Christian, yes. against, hate gay people and lesbians and people that are born in, in, that, in that manner? What? Where'd you get that what? from? I don't know. The way you talk, it seems like that you hate gay people. You don't hate lesbians. No, Claudine know, gay. gay. I don't think Claudine Gay was a lesbian. No, 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 no. No, I understand. This is a different, little bit different topic. Why is oh, it that okay. I, you feel, why is it that you dislike gay and lesbians? Do you believe that they do not, don't have a reason to exist? Is that what it is? I mean, I are, are a transgender do you feel that they're less human than you are? I, I, I don't understand. If you're, a I don't know person, where that came from. Are we on the same line together? We were talking about Claudine yeah, Gay, the I'm president of Harvard. I'm the question. That's all. I'm asking you. What do you do? How do you feel about being a Christian? Okay, I'll answer it. Gay, or you know, I, two I believe... men married or two women married. You understand what I'm saying? How do you feel yes, about yes. that as a Christian? Yeah, I'll tell you. So I believe that we're all created in God's image. And I do believe that Jesus was right when he said, for this reason, uh, you know, a man shall marry a woman. And I I do believe that Leviticus 2013 is true. And I do believe that God's destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. I do believe lying is wrong. I believe premarital sex is wrong. I believe uh, that a marriage is between a man and a woman. Uh-huh. I, I totally believe all that. This is all in line okay. with my Christianity. However, I don't oh, believe right. it. So, so why doesn't that I, guy I, This is my last sentence. Life. My last sentence. I didn't address the trans thing. 
I, I believe what I was taught in biology class that there's a biological male and a biological female. I don't believe, however, maybe like you guys do, that if I think a magical, mystical thought, even though I'm a no. man, all of a sudden I'm a biological woman. I just don't believe in magic. It has to do no, with no, their genes. No, the, the, the it question is, if that's team. your belief system, why yeah. do you have to put, No, that's what your we're trans is, other though. People? You don't even understand what a trans person is. It's a person yeah. whose brain feels like they should be female, but their body is male, and they find that it, frankly, is yeah. very dangerous. It's called gender dysphoria. Have a yeah, it's a disease, no, gender it dysphoria. Isn't. There's a it's whole disease. different, different it's not thing. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it but is but not. Hold on, guys. But, but and it's on, not any you of it. your business. Why is it your business what the exactly. other people say? There we go. There we go. Yeah. Thanks. Well, you asked me. You asked me the, the question. Like they are done living their life like a woman. What business is it of yours? What's in their pants? How they were born? It's what makes them happy. I met somebody who was trans, and just happened to overhear him talking about it to someone else. And I said, you know, later I said, do you mind? I kind of overheard you saying you were trans. Is that true? And he said, yeah. And I said, are you happier now? And he said, yeah. I said, fine. None of my goddamn yeah, happiness, business. Happiness shouldn't be the moral standard. Uh, if the pedophile well, is, you, is, it is, is that okay? Well, yeah, how is it hurting? It's not your business. Yeah, so it shouldn't be. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. I had a question for you guys, too. Go ahead. Go yeah, ahead, can we, can we pass this uh, around, too? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll shut up after my question. I promise. Okay. So, do you we'll guys uh, do you guys believe that a biological man should be able to compete in a uh, woman's uh, women's boxing or wrestling? Go ahead, pass it around. You know, it's funny. Everybody assumes that that means the man would win. That has not proven to be the case at all. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Not every man so is a better okay boxer than every woman. I, oh, you know what I'm okay with, Rich? I'm going to tell you something. You know what I'm okay with? I'm okay yes. with people living their lives. If they're not hurting anyone, if they are not um, telling me what to do and what to think and when to think it or what to eat or who to love or who not to love, we're okay I don't care. If someone was born, and I am telling you, they are born that way. I have a nephew as well. They are born that way. And it's nothing that anyone can do. Nothing. It has to do with their hormones, it's their DNA, it's their genetics. That's what it has to do with. And well, remember if, the question, could someone repeat the question? Second, if you cannot, as a Christian, as a Christian, as a Christian person, if you cannot accept all people, no matter who they are, then you're not a Christian. Because Jesus would, and would, if he was still on this earth, he would accept everyone. It would not matter to him if they were rich. Well, that's poor, not right. Rich, Jesus rich. said you oh, have to yes. be a Christian Jesus to make it to heaven, so you're wrong. Because no, there was Jesus, no Christianity while Jesus was alive. That please, doesn't make any sense. Exactly. exactly. Well, I'm just correcting for error. That's all. Jesus didn't say everyone gets to heaven. No so. He did there. not say there anything. There was no he Christian was religion action. while Jesus was alive. It didn't come into being until <laughs> hundreds of years later. Christian just means Christ-like. That's well, can, well, can we ask the question and then believe in Christ and, and then there's no something there's something wrong? You, if the you game of lesbians believe in, in Christ, time, are you still going to condemn them? You guys didn't answer the question. Are you okay with, are you okay with I biological you a question, yeah, sir. You I'm first to on here. I'm first time, asking you this question. Are you going to tell me that if they believe in Jesus Christ, the gay and the lesbian, are you going to accept them or are you going to outcast them? Yeah. Simple question. Accept them where? Outcast them where? I don't, where? Where? I don't, I where? I don't give what. Oh. No. Simple question. 
Um, I think if they repented from their sin of homosexuality, they they would be let into heaven. Because Jesus did say repent. That's one of the Ten Commandments. Where are the Ten Commandments? Want me to read the Bible to you? I could pull it out for you. You listen. You're not going to read the Bible. The Bible's a load of horse shit. Wasn't written by God. That doesn't answer my question. No. Yeah, he okay, can't answer the question. Believe in Jesus. Are you going to accept them? Uh, yeah, I, I think if they admit that it's a sin, and they're they're in. Uh, excuse in the, in me, the I didn't life. say that. I no. said no. the gay and the oh, okay, lesbian yes, believe mm-hmm. in well, Jesus. I'm Are you answer. going to accept them? I'm going to answer it. Don't twist Satan my words. Satan believes in Jesus. No, you Satan have a, you Jesus, have a caveat. Of your but he's not you're... going to heaven. Okay, stop. So Jesus, okay, one at a time. Don't attack him. He's he's got an opinion. No, no, as I don't. Well. It's okay. This is you guys. This will probably be the best the best show. You know, I'm going to answer, but no one it's answered the question. Are you guys okay with biological males yes, competing okay, in women's yes. sports? I am okay. Okay, you're okay. As long as they're not hurting anyone else, I don't care what they do. And I, I know the other lady's okay. So what about the two guys? Are they okay with it? I don't know. I, David, are you okay with it? Well, okay. This is why I, I see it. Um, come on, David. Come to my side, brother. <laughs> no, I'm not coming to your side. Here. <laughs> this is how I see it. They should have a different category for, um, for, for trans, transgender athletes. And that was solved. Oh, my God. Thing. David, I agree with and David. That's coming. David, uh-huh. you know it's you know, the end of the world. We're in the, the last house. days when you and I agree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, you know, I, I'm yeah, teaching it, myself it, it, that. It, you know, it, but it, go, right. go ahead, Naj. What do you think about it? Yes, yeah, Naj. I, yeah, I, I, I'll be brief. Like, avoiding that question, I, I just think it's interesting, like, when you talk to Trump supporters, and not only do you hear the bend towards authoritarianism, where they start to decide how other people should live, and... Yeah. They become judge and jury on how that person lives, and then the other part, which which is kind of just interesting don't teach is, it to our kids. Well, the other part no. that's interesting is just it's the fantastic contagious. way. Well, well, just hold on one second. Just, just the just the way that they'll change reality into what they want it to be. So, mm-hmm. this man earlier in his conversation said the Trump economy was great. Actually, the Trump no, economy no. was the recovery from. Uh, the COVID. Obama years after the economic breakdown. Well, hold on, we'll get to COVID. We're not there yet. And then we get the COVID years, which was mismanaged, uh, where we had the supply chains and everything else bungled uh, by 45. And this economic miracle that they speak of never happened. The Trump years were not good economically for America. That was a period of trying to gain uh, what we had lost during the economic meltdown. So, yes, yeah, it's interesting to see Trump supporters do this, where they, they just rewrite history and claim that, well, he's good at business, so therefore the economy was good. No, that didn't happen. Sorry. Come on, Nash. And he's Nash, not good at business. Do me a favor. Come on, answer that question. Uh, what are, what's your opinion Bankrupt. on the biological male? Uh, I think it's sports. a YouTube and Twitter question that has been answered and talked about way too much. I think it's a way for Republicans and the right wing to avoid actual issues that affect people's daily lives in order to play into the hysteria of CRT, DEI, uh, transition, these things that they don't actually care about but they can use as a weapon to avoid conversation because this is the only party we've seen in the past 40 years who has come to election season without an actual platform. Yelling fix the border is not a platform. Yelling, they're trying to take your kids, they're trying to uh, program your kids in school. That's not a platform. So if you can, please list the things on a Republican platform that are not mantras to be screamed out, but actual policy that you can legislate. Yeah. Hey, on, on his, we- on good his website, on his website it's, it, he's got a whole list there, and I know the Biden's website says the same thing. But, Naj, dang it, I was so curious what you were going to say, because I, I think you're actually a very highly intelligent individual. I mean that sincerely. I could tell cause by the way you talk. And, sure, and all sure, you guys you, are. We talked for five minutes. We talked for five minutes. You seem to be buying time to avoid the question. 
So again, Republican platform, actual <laughs> didn't answer my question. Answer mine, I'll answer yours. He did. We've Not already only told you can you avoid answers, you just don't like them. But Naj didn't. The other guy did, yes, and I agree did. with the other guy. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. I, yes, he did. I, did. I don't know. Yeah, he did. did. I said well, he did. he yeah. was a former pro oh. athlete, and he, you know. And I would bet no, he I was your a question if you answered mine. Player, if there are women soccer players, he would be better. Oh, That's okay. an answer. You didn't answer All my right. question. Yes, ma'am. You didn't answer my question. question. So if the gay and the lesbian, I'll, I'll answer your question, too, Jesus sir. Christ, I'm sorry. Are you going to accept them, or are you going to keep keep playing the game that there's something wrong with them and, and we should do something with them? I, I will, what are we I will supposed treat to do them, with them, by the way? I will Does treat the them like they're children. children. They're they're children. children. In that country, I, I'm going to answer. I will treat them like they're made in the image of God, very respectful, very kind. When I said I prayed the gay away, I meant Claudine gay. I was praying that they would get rid of okay. the plagiarists, and they did. So that's what I meant. I wasn't talking about But Claudine Gay is also a state in the image. I have another question for you, for you which, is, which is part of the women's agenda. When does life begin? Because I know what the Bible says. Life begins at first breath. What is your interpretation? This is the woman's okay. issue. I want to answer that other gentleman, Naj's question, too, out of respect, if you still want me to, Naj. Yeah, keep, keep scrolling the web pages and see what you can find, sir. Anything. No, I'm not even on the web page. I'm kicking back here uh, drinking a uh, Canada dry ginger ale. Well, I have the American flag in one hand and the Bible in the other and a MAGA hat on. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm, <just kidding. laughs> I'm sure it's wide in your brain. But, but, again, this is not a complicated question. Asking somebody who yes, says ahead, they're sir. a supporter of a party to give the platform of that party or reasons why they will vote for that party yes. legislatively, like, this is not a hard question. I will. I already talked about that, but I don't think you're on the line yet, but I'll say it again. So, uh, and I even talked about it. I was at a uh, rally in California in the belly of the beast, um, the Marxist area oh, of California, of Riverside, California. California. And, and here's what I noticed. I was a conservative Christian, still am, and there was a lesbian lady with the American flag and a megaphone, and and there were all different types of people. And and so here's here's what I noticed, what we all agreed on. So we were pro-life. That was important to us. I'm, I'm just telling you may disagree with this, but this is what the Trump supporters think. I know because I am one, and I know tons of them. And then also... Also, we'll we also the we don't agree. You know how you, you guys said, well, if it's not hurting anybody, listen. There's many women getting hurt by biological males going into the women's restroom. One uh, another oh, woman was just assaulted by, by a biological I male. Meaning I'm the trying to the case. Never, so, so never, he can't, he never can't answer the question. That's I, I, I'm answering I'm it, but they're talking over me, Naj. And then, that's and then we want to build a big, well, beautiful wall. Awesome. I talked to Naj. I talked about that. That Naj, if you and I were in line, let's say at a, a pizza place, and I'm like, "Hey, I'm going to buy a pizza. We'll get some uh, a beer and stuff." And we're like eighth in line, and some people come and cut in front of us. You and I would be like, you know, that's not really morally right. And well, the people that are sure crossing over the, are doing cut the question. <laughs> So, so um, that's another know. reason why we're voting for Trump. Uh, you guys okay. seem like you so, weren't so, open so, border. Stop. Well, stop. Well, well, real, 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 real quick, so, so we heard ane- anecdotal stories about anecdotal. why you emotionally. Uh, tell, yeah, these are tell anecdotal the people, stories at the, tell the people in Texas anecd- it's anecdotal, sir, my friend. Sir, 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 relax. These are anecdotal stories I'm about relaxed. why emotionally you're siding with a party. I asked you for legislative interest. Bills, actual things that can happen. Oh, oh, I, well, you things. must not have been here. I talked about the Supreme Court Sir, judges that he put now. in that were pro-life. This has to do with legislation and changing laws. And we listened okay, to this so beautiful thing that happened. We, the Supreme Court justice got a wooden. The, the Supreme Court so, justice got a wooden stake 
and drove it through that sinful thing called Roe versus Wade, which has been oh, genocide on little babies. Isn't it that. such a yeah, now you glorious know, day when they killed question. Roe versus okay. Wade? It was when great. When does life begin? There's life some legislation begins at first if you believe so in you your Bible. you don't have policies you're interested in. You're a single-issue voter. Got it. I just gave you a bunch of issues. I gave you the border. I gave you the economy. I gave you pro-life. I gave you uh, sports, you know, not, not having men okay, okay, hurting our little girls in sports. <laughs> these are all legislative issues. issues. Every uh, single no, one of them. Listen, yeah, they all are. Okay, okay, stop for a second. Rick, Hello. can we go back for a moment? Why is it that you believe that you can control my life? And my decisions of what I would want to do with my body. I'll, Why I'll do you answer think you. That you have the right. Stop. Why do you think that you have the right to control I do with my body? Why do you think you have the right? I'm gonna. And, I'm gonna answer. Go I'm gonna answer you. Okay. If you want to get, and I'm saying this very respectfully, if you want to go a hundred miles with your body down the freeway when the speed limit's sixty, oh, I got you, didn't I? You're being controlled. There's you laws saying, I, I, I'm almost about? done. <laughs> I'm almost <laughs> done. There's laws saying you, that your body can't go over 60 miles per hour. Now, here's another thing. My if you body? want to do something with your body, breast, breast augmentation, what, 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 lip enhancement, go that's ahead. I, don't that's, interrupt me. Don't that's, interrupt that's, me. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. But, but the you baby's know. not your body. Yes, Rick, if you want to do breast... Excuse me, you said you're a Christian, right? You read the Bible, right? Does life begin at first breath? So, <laughs> no. Answer yes or no. It, it, it be, no, it That's begins before that. That's a very simple question. But, Naj, so did you hear that Naj I was answering? If she wants to do something with her breast or her lips, that is her body, but she can't murder the baby. That's not her body. Well, I somewhere I read, and I'm going to ask somewhere again. Somewhere I read, we have the yes, right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Life we're, we're begin at first breath. breath. You will never answer that question. No, of course I just not. answered it. No, wait. Of course not. I will ask him something else. Since you are so concerned about life, will you go yes. get a bisectomy? <laughs> all about if we make a law that all men have to get a bisectomy. Okay, I yeah. would agree that if they're rapists, they should. No, they should just, I men. agree with that. All men, all men, oh, all look, men, look, because look, you're, look, you're picking on all of us women. Let, let me stop for a second. Okay, now, we go. hold on a second. Now, you just said if the man is a rapist. Now, if the man rapes the, a woman, let's say he rapes me and I get pregnant from this man that raped me, do I have to have this child? I'm asking um, you. The, the, law, the law states uh-huh. in some states you, you probably can uh, kill and murder your innocent child because the child is innocent. Murder it's a Would you agree? Child it's a fetus. I did not want from a fetus man that Latin raped me and committed a Why crime you Latin? called rape. Do you understand that? Do you get that? It's a crime to rape a woman. The it's baby didn't crime. rape you. The baby's what? innocent. I'm going to oh, ask you that question again since you're such a down-to-earth Christian. Does life begin at first breath? Or do no. you have a different definition because you're a conservative Christian? Now, no, give me your definition. A, a conception. And so it, it does a, not. The Bible says life begins at first breath. It's a well, fact. Well, actually, God said before you were in the womb, I, I knew you. The Bible oh, says that life begins with the stop, 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 Everybody, everybody can stop, talk at one time. Exactly. Okay, my question to you, well, Rich, to uh, the love time in Republican. And answer a fucking question. Okay, hold on. Calm down, hey, there everybody. might be ladies present. Don't talk like that. There might be a lady present. 
Yeah, me. Okay, okay. Rich, Rich. I'm just teasing. How do you feel about not having Republicans? Do you think they belong in the Republican Party since the Republican Party has gone so far right? What do you think about not having Republicans who are gay Republicans? About what? I, I, I honestly not sure about Republicans. Yeah. Log Republicans. cabin. They're log mm-hmm. cabin mm-hmm. Republicans. And, and who, yes. who, who are, what's your name that's talking, your first name that's talking uh, to me now? David, David. I, man, David. I'm so glad we, you and I at least agreed on one thing. It gives me hope for humanity about mm-hmm. the, having a separate category. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember I agree with George Bush Sr. Um, they were asking mm-hmm. him about homosexuality and something. He goes, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm not really, and I can't really get into that, he said. So, because his um, daughter was all gay. The three, all the three major religions – call homosexuality a sin. You guys know that. Islam, no, we don't know Judaism, that. and Christianity, they, they all call it a sin. So I, I don't, I no, think we're don't. kind of beating a dead they uh, need to <laughs> or something. Brush up on your Judaism because they don't. Yeah, and, and they also say ago, that those, those life begins when the baby control. takes their first breath. And that the and, mother and is not yeah. a separate being from a person inside the, her body that can't live. If you had a you t- guys know, uh, if, you, if you had a you t- t- you had it. the doctor remove it and it dies, isn't that taking another life? It's a parasite living in your body. They're not going to use logic. They're going to use emotion. That's what they do. I think you misunderstand that you can be logical and, and be very interested in a topic. You don't have to be like a robot. You I don't you, think you're you a robot, of course. Well, well, you, you, you can be very be. emotional. Well, you, I mean, look oh, at the oh, pro-abortion oh, oh, people. These people are the most oh. emotional people I've ever seen in my life. Because you're oh, pumping oh, no. all over our oh, oh, no. rights. That's right. And they want to use your religion to force... The laws of this country. Our laws are based on the Constitution, not your friggin' well, Bible. You don't want to go to the Constitution Declaration where it says we have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You might want to yes. use a Marxist document for that abortion. No, you might want to understand the life of existing people. Are you talking about Karl Marx? Or are you talking about Groucho Marx? I have no idea what you're talking about. Both, they have both no of them. To the conversation. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey David, uh, no, no, I'm going to put you a magic hat that's just for not agreeing true, with it. And then assumes though. that everyone who disagrees with him is that anti-Bible. No, first off, we don't believe that the Bible has anything to do with the Constitution. That's why this country was founded, to get away from the religious beliefs of the British where every time a king or queen wanted to sleep with somebody else, they had to change religion, and that meant that at the point of the sword, you had to change yours. Had nothing no, they, to do they with any foundation, any belief. They love God. They, they, actually, the founders left a, government. They don't talk over. The funniest, yeah, funniest thing Christopher Hitchens ever what said, I was Mr. Jefferson, build up this wall. <laughs> yeah, and all those great founding fathers who – busy owning other people and raping them repeatedly. And good old Thomas Jefferson let his mistress, who he kept locked up in this private room in his house, let her keep her babies till there were two. Then he stole Thomas, them out from Thomas underneath Thomas Jefferson, his typical Democrat. <sighs> Thomas Jefferson well, well, was Democrat. On, yeah, if you and back when Democrats and were the, the Demo- asshole, oh, hold on. things have changed well, since on. then. <laughs> the Democratic Party okay, of that era okay. was nice what? Talk, conservative. Let, yeah, so the Democratic nice Party of that era was conservative. So it's interesting whenever I hear these people like, yeah, the Democrats uh, did this or the Democrats did that. Yeah, that was the party of conservatism at the time. The actual revolutionary the time, party things time have was the Republican since Party. Then. Exactly. Yeah, we know. We know. We, we all and, know And that. Republicans think, used to be only man, caring oh, about oh. fiscal responsibility, and now they won't do a goddamn thing about anybody other than themselves. Oh, and well, by the way, you're talking religion. California. What about Trump? Everybody, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the best radio show ever. Not. 
I'm serious. Uh, okay, Naj, make your point and then Elaine. Gravity. Yeah, I'll make the point simple. So, again, when I asked about policy, the man got into emotional, mantra-speaking topics. Again, uh, the whole MAGA mm-hmm. movement, the whole America First thing is an emotional feeling movement. It is not a movement yeah. that you actually inspect. Because when you inspect it, you say, wait a minute, Trump spent X amount of dollars and actually increased spending after Obama and spent more than Obama. Uh, his tax cut bill, which the majority of working Americans are now going to find out they're not going to get the tax return that they used to get back in the day because he sold out uh, the working class and gave a big tax cut to the 1% and made sure that the cuts that he gave to the working class declined and sunsetted year after year after year. We're now in year eight, and now those taxes are coming due, and they're hurting the working class. Then he said he's going to bring jobs back, and he's going to go to war with China, Guess what, uh, uh, trade war with China. Guess what actually happened? The jobs didn't come back. We lost market share in soybeans and other agricultural uh, products, and other countries got those uh, deals that, you know, formerly went to China, and we had to pay out through the government treasury to the farmers to make up for their lost revenue. So, you know, when you talk to these MAGA supporters, just get to the issues because they won't talk about the issues. They'll talk about the emotional thing. What do you think about somebody, uh, a woman wrestling or boxing against a man? They'll talk about that's those a, things because they can't talk issue, about the though. issues because the yeah, actual yeah. issues, they have no standing. I'll end there. Because most people don't care about that. Most people don't care about boxing. You know, it, you know it's just – it's something that comes and goes. It has nothing to do with our daily lives that we have to go to work and that we have to, you know, make money and we have to take care of our kids, put food on the table, make sure there's gas in the car. Those are the bread and butter issues that we should talk about. Those are the things that we need to talk about. And inflation, well, by the way, is down to 2% now. Well, the, why 2. do you guys think Biden? by the way. So these are the things that we need to talk to, because the other stuff, we will never, ever agree. I will never agree with the fact that I cannot control my own body. I tell you I can, and I will. And there's no one, the baby. not even, no one that will stop me. That's how I feel about it. That's how strong I am. And this is how well, can I, ask much you guys, I will then work. Why- to get it repealed oh. again. It's as hard as I can, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to Can I ask you guys, the, why do you think that Biden's – seriously, it's not just me. It's – look okay. at all these people uh, that okay. disagree with Biden. Why is his poll number so horrible? Listen it, to it's me. It's the economy, numbers, stupid, like listen, Bill Clinton poll said. numbers do not – listen – Poll numbers do not mean anything. If you've learned anything or paid attention in the past through the years, poll numbers, it depends on who they call. If they call all Republicans in one day, who do you think that they're going to, who do you think that they are going to say they want right now in this time? Trump. And if they call a Democrat in one day, they're going to say they want Biden. It's just how it is. So why do you express so much? Why do you think a poll means anything? When you talk to real people on the street or in a grocery store or anywhere, talk to them, and they will explain to you what they feel. A poll is nothing. I never, ever answer my huh? phone because I know it's probably a poll, and I won't answer it. I don't care. Yeah. It's dumb. Yeah. Well, when they're that drastic, they though, like it's not just a poll. poll. They're, not that drastic. they are not that drastic. In They're fact, not. as of today, Trump or Biden was ahead yeah. in his fundraising. He was ahead in his numbers. It changes from day to day. Doesn't mean from shit. day to day, from hour to hour. It depends on who no. you talk to, what state you're calling. It's just what it means. Yeah. That's what it depends on. Forget about the polls. It's people that are going to vote, not the polls. People will vote. Well, you guys know who Carville is, right? James Carville. The yeah. guy said, well, you know what? It yeah. Is? It's the economy. It's stupid. Yeah. He's, he's even worried about Biden. He's like, some people are saying he's if Biden was your like, dog, I well, mean, it's like you'd put him so to sleep. Many you know, it's Trump like elder abuse pushing that guy. So Carville's worried. Are you guys worried that Biden? Reality. 
No, are I you guys worried that Biden's not going to win? Interviews talking about I, how, no, I am not how worried. Biden is right dead right and, and Obama's mm-hmm. really running the country and all kinds of QAnon nut casing and how uh, <laughs> JFK Jr. <laughs> is coming back to be the president and all kinds of stuff. They ignore the fact that people are dead. They ignore the fact that they're believing in stuff that's not even remotely real, like you and your Bible. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, well, and, and I will just know, add, can I just I add real quick? Uh, when can I ask Lord, like, Lord. This is what I say. Because oh. our government is based care. on the Bible. He, well, he's not going to answer. It, he's not going to answer any question legitimately. I, I think we all understand that. But yeah. I, I would, I would challenge everybody to look up James Carville every election cycle if he doesn't yep. say it looks like the Dem is in trouble in order to yep. drive he turnout. Every because time. at the well, end good. of the day, with that's what Carville is. Good. I hope he works. didn't say with Clinton or Obama. Yep. Oh, he did. He, he did. did. He did. He did. He did. Oh, he, he was very good over it. He does it all the time. He's basically <laughs> a and if he does it you guys... all the time and it works, he should keep it up. Okay, I gotta. I have someone here you with me. You think Trump lies on his ass constantly? Oh, I have some I, I have a question to ask him. Another question. I have someone here with me, and they're going to give you their I opinion. Like oh, ask God, please, please, please. One, one time. time. One time, and then. Uh, and then okay, okay, let me just. Can I just have my friend say hello? Go ahead, Bill. Okay. No. Hey, I want you guys to listen. We are all know Biden's not going to win. Now? I've got to ask this question of you, of that, your, yeah. of your man Trump. He all is right, go such. Ahead. He doesn't. He doesn't follow the Bible. Look what. Look how many times he's cheated on all his wives. Look at the remarks that he's made. Look, he got. He, he was found guilty for for the Gene Carroll dark case. Now how. In the hell can you religious people, you so-called conservatives, who hold the Bible, back him? Aren't those okay, sins? Gonna... Aren't those I'm sins? Gonna... I'm going to answer it. So, so here's what happened. That Gene Carroll thing, I've been looking into that. Oh, and first of I all, I remember about I said Jesus. Question. Go to the first question. Don't I, I go sidestepping Jesus... it. There's Biden and, and Trump on the ballot. If Jesus was on the ballot, I'd vote for him. So I have to choose between the lesser of the two evils, so to speak. They're, oh, all, they're both God. sinners. So I'm voting for Trump because Why? on that Gene Carroll uh, – let me answer the lady's question. On the Gene Carroll thing – we don't want her to start cussing at me again. Um, on the Gene Carroll thing, you know what's kind of suspicious, and you can Google this, she said she was a fan of law and order, and oh, her testimony it, matches exactly true. the law and order episode. Oh, please. Don't you oh, find that kind you of think that this was very let's put, it, let's put it from personal life. <laughs> Him having <laughs> sex with, with prostitutes. Go ahead and Google and it, you guys. And cheating really on Manal, 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 whatever her, her, the current wife, oh, cheating oh, on her. Now... And and cheating on the on the others. Now that goes against the Bible. That is sin. That is sin. How yes. can how can yes. you so justify I, I'm answer it. him? I'm going to answer it. Let's say. 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 So I'm asking you about Trump, Trump. 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 I am. I'm getting to that. That's my next thing, my dear. I'm no, going answer Trump, about the Trump first. Let's say, let's say Trump, uh, everything that you said was, was true and all these lawsuits against you know him are all real true. Let's say it was you all know true. It's true. But then, but then as a Christian, yeah. I look at what they do. And when they're my president and when Biden goes in there, even though he let's say he's acting like he's pure as the driven snow, he goes against my pro-life beliefs and he promotes the genocide of abortion. Don't interrupt me, please. I'm almost but done. But you know, I'm going to ask that but, question to you again. But, but you got, you got your Bible the, in your hand, right? Does your life begin at first breath? 
I, I'm answering. So, but Trump, let's say, using your analogy, I asked he's you less of a, don't he's tell less me this. of a Christian. Trump, Listen, Trump, oh, Trump because oh, Trump I can't even did, answer the question. gave you your your way. I asked so you a listen. question. Now going to the so Bible. Trump. Does life begin at first breath? Yes or no? It's an I, easy I said question. No, remember it at, at now, conception. Is there something wrong with your mental capacity? I, I asked you an easy question. I, I just answered Does it. Is there something wrong with your it? <laughs> so, and it's um, not funny. I, I answered the question like three or four times. No, you so didn't. You guys know that. Does life begin at first breath? I, I have. The, the, even no. the other three will stick up for me and say We know that you answered it. Can you guys hear me? Listen, listen closely. Listen closely. Hey, I have a question for you. You have a conception. Episode. And relating it to E. Jean Carroll, you do know she was a very famous writer. I used to read her column all the time. And Law and Order takes its storylines from the newspapers, from current events. I would bet you that episode was based on her story. Does it make her story false? It means somebody thought what happened there was inspiring enough to write an episode of a very popular TV show. That's all it means. Well, it doesn't make okay, her fault. And she's I was, been telling was, the same story was, for 30 fucking years. I was 45 seconds away from my ending of the, the answer of the other lady, and because she's saying, How could you vote for Trump if you're a Christian? Say and yes what I'm no. saying is, that is a good the election, election, I'm trying to. You, you guys got to do better at letting the person talk, you know. So. I, you got to better at answering the question. I let me answer it. I look at what they do, <laughs> and so if Biden is passing and pushing pro-abortion stuff, this is one one uh, voting issue. Yeah, I have other ones. Right. If he, number two, choice. get the terms right. Choice. C H O I S E. Choice. Oh, please, you Democrats never First met a baby you didn't want to I kill. Did. Let's be honest. So, listen so, to me, Rick. Rick, one yeah. second. You're, you're getting, listen, President Biden did not pass anything. It was the Supreme Court that uh, rolled back Roe v. Wade, not President Biden. I know. So you cannot, it was wonderful. Hold on. So you cannot blame him for that. Do you get that? <laughs> I'm glad you that happened. Him. No, you're blaming President Biden for what, hap- what happened um, with Roe v. Wade. And, um, no, no, I'm not blaming President him for Biden that. President Biden had nothing to do with it. Yes, you, that's what you're I'm saying. I'm not blaming him for that. I'm blaming him for well, constantly still trying to murder more babies. No, what has he got to do with abortion? He didn't have anything to do with, with he's always, his whole life. He's always promoting it. The, he's he's always court. out there promoting mm. abortion. Oh and when my he used to get a Go to CNN true. and pull it up. Nobody, he's no, always at these pro-abortion rallies. Sure. Speaking. Oh yeah, and you know, do you know that Trump was pro-choice years ago? Yeah. Did you know that? I do know pull that. Pull that up in your Google. Pull that up yeah, in your Google. Yeah, and he, he, yeah, he was. You know what was oh, means after. So you're just oh, proving my point to me. Now he's a Christian. <laughs> now he's a Christian, and he's a conservative Christian. So now. He is no longer a sinner, right? No, but Please. see, this is, you make a Please. very good point. You make a very good Your point. point is wrong. Look at what they do, not what they, how, what they no, say they no, are. I'm Everyone's sorry, a sinner. Your God, President Trump, is telling you, have you looked up Project 2025 yet? Have you looked that up? Oh, it's a wonderful project. Oh, okay. So you want, then it's why are not a you, human. Listen to me. Why don't you get on the next plane that takes you to Russia or China, and you can live there because you would be perfect over there. Perfect. Well, well I, I think you mean you, you, like you guys would like China because they have that forced abortion. No, you're full uh, of shit. I'm pro life. They do not have forced abortion. They do not. You're full of shit. That was years ago. He is full of shit. <laughs> And that was she just admitted it. She goes, that was years ago. That was overpopulation. That is why. And now they're sorry that they did it because they have too many elderly people in the country. So please, before you spew stuff, know what you're talking about. Oh, I know I what I'm talking about. 
No, you don't. I mean, I've been nice yeah, for long enough, but you are not going to put anyone down on this panel because we have as put many, down? Our, our opinions. Our opinions matter just like yours does. We will never agree. We will never agree because what you see in front of you is not what's going to happen. Trust me. Why are Trust you me. so obsessed with killing babies? So that it seems like it's oh, almost like a no, 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 I agree. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, Rich, Rich. Okay. In the case show. of um, Rich, can I, make a, can I ask a question, Rich? Yes, sir. Rich, if somebody, oh if, if a young woman or younger is raped <laughs> by an uncle or a father or whatever, or, yes. you know, or, or a brother, do you think that child, she should have that child? Yeah, so I'm going to give you my honest answer. Let's even make it real personal. My sister or my mm-hmm. wife you know, we're Christians, so we oh. would say, mm-hmm. you know what, L- listen, I know you're not going to like that we saved the baby's life because you guys never met a baby you don't want to kill, but I would say, oh no, you know no, what, no, we're Christians, no, no, we're no, Christians, no, let's go ahead, ahead. No, no, and keep the baby, you're that's right, about I know you're, you're mad that we're keeping the You're talking about baby. killing children, well, what about Abbott in Texas? He told the border, let them drown. He doesn't care if it's a mother with children. Let them drown. Don't you dare take them out of the river. And a woman and her children drowned. So you tell me about murder. You hypocrite. This is going to be your best show ever, you guys. Seriously. You are a hypocrite. And that was mm-hmm. that was on the local news, the, the supper time news, the regular station. But, but he to told answer David's question, patrol, David, uh, we, would, uh, we would keep the baby. Uh, I mean, mother, David, mother, what if that baby was you? With the two children, that's okay for them to drown, right? That's okay for them to drown. <laughs> You're a hypocrite. Mm-hmm. We would keep the baby. Well, we would keep it, David. That's that's, that's that. fair. Texas, wait a minute, Rick. Well, then you know he what? probably what? believes that cousins should marry cousins. Well, yeah. Because if an uncle can impregnate his niece, he's all for it. So I gather your cousins can marry cousins. Rick? Okay, well, this is the one I have to show you guys. I have been honored in a long time. Okay, we'll have another caller. Welcome, Carla. What's cooking tonight? Hi, Hi, this is Carol from Chicago. Could I call? Uh, is yes, Mr. yes, Adam? yes, talk. Uh, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hi, Mr. Trump's friend. I want to just run some things by you. I just got done posting in, in a mega group. Okay? See, are you aware that almost twice as many Republicans died from COVID as Democrats? <laughs> I know you probably won't mm-hmm. believe me, so I've... I actually do have the references for you from the Journal of American Medical Association mm-hmm. and from um, other sources. What DeSantis did, Governor DeSantis, he tried to hide this because his yeah. public health nurse was really frightened at the high numbers of Floridians dying. And he fired yeah. her. And he didn't just fire her for keeping track of it, but he tried to um, say if you had a residence in New York, and you also had a residence in Florida, then he, he said, well, you might get counted twice, so we won't count the Florida death, even though they were living okay. in Florida when they contracted it. So, that's so are you vaccinated? Yes, yes. And here's what the, the Journal of American Medical Association said. It is a long article. It t- details its a, a PDF that's on uh, the web. But basically what they said was, that when COVID first came out, everybody got it. It didn't, there was no difference, okay? The difference occurred in two states they studied, Ohio and Florida. The difference occurred after the vaccines were introduced and the masking was introduced. Then you begin to see a, a difference by 
um, politics. Now, this is after they weeded out age differences, other infirmities, age differences, and so on. So in other words, they've accounted for all that, those differences, and it still comes out almost twice as many Republicans died as Democrats. And they attribute that to attitude on vaccination and masking. So the time, at the time, um, Mr. Trump wanted to be elected. He was afraid for the stock market to show bad results. He, he downplayed it. He modeled by his actions disrespect for the scientists. And he uh, muzzled some of them. He muzzled the CDC, forcing them mm-hmm. to keep changing their message, which confused the, the people. Now, it's true that they didn't have all the answers when that COVID came out. They were struggling to figure it out. <clears throat> but when you have a president that models disrespect for the medical association and stands up and speaks uh, about uh, untested and unvetted uh, so-called cures, such as drinking bleach, which many people did, by the way. Um, there were also uh, silver, uh, coital silver was offered, uh, ivermectin was offered. There were, you know, what horse dewormer and whatever. All of these things are really dangerous. They can kill you. But he, he advocated them. And so did the MAGA pastors. <clears throat> so I believe if they want to get up in church and say these terrible things, about medicine, which they know nothing about. They should be willing, instead of asking you for your donations and ties so they can have a million dollar airplane, they should be paying mm-hmm. for your funeral or your medical expenses mm-hmm. because they misled you. And uh, we I'm have so- now. Well, here's what the, here's what the, the, the death rates are. In the, in the world, in the world, the U.S. Can has I the most death. More than India. Can I answer India, that? India, yes. India is a filthy country. Why should we, with running water, sewage, and all this, why should we have been sicker than India? Now, so, I'm interested in your answer. Yeah, so here's, here's my thing. Uh, I, got, I had COVID, COVID light, diet COVID, <laughs> chocolate COVID. You know, I think I had COVID oh, before. Shit. You know, there's a song I was country before country was even cool. Uh, so I had COVID. Um, and, and then did you hear about Jill Biden has had COVID multiple times. She's been double vaccinated, boosted. There's a meme where it shows her next to Joe Biden and she's in the hospital bed and the doctor said, well, well, Joe, she's got COVID again. And he said, after being double vaccinated and and multiple boosted, well, give her another one. (laughs) So it, it, it Tell basically, me what's about it. I don't know no, if these seriously. vaccines are too effective, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. well, okay. well, you, I will well, give right. another thing. Yeah. No, now you've really hit a nerve with me. Let because me I had a family me. member, I had a family member, okay, that was a MAGA. He believed everything Trump was saying about COVID. He, had, he was a widower. He was in his late 40s. Two children. He refused to get vaccinated. His brother got very, very sick from COVID, very sick, and, and he was vaccinated. So he told his brother, please get vaccinated because I got sick and I was vaccinated. And he said no. He laughed at his face. He said nobody is going to tell me to get the vaccine. And you know what happened to him? He died. Ten days, he died of pneumonia. His lungs turned into yeah. crystal. He could not breathe. He died in the hospital. Now he has two yeah, I'm children sorry to hear that. without any Sincerely. Son, two children with no parents. So do not laugh at COVID shot. Do not well, laugh at Well well let me just tell you something. I, I'm sincerely sorry that, that he passed. Um but do you but know more what? people have died with the vaccine from COVID than no, without. I, and no, no, some no, people no, no. Do, no. You know that? No, 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 no. There's a man with that in your pipe and smoke. It's propaganda. No. Yeah. I'm a medical person. You're not going to twist it because I have Google told it. you a very personal story. Do not yeah. turn it around. I'm just twist. telling you the truth. More people have died yeah, from COVID true. that have been yeah. vaccinated than they have not. Yeah. I know you don't like it, but facts don't care about our feelings. Not, I'm sorry I about your. your, your, not, your uh, here's, here's the fact, okay? 
the vaccines were designed for a specific configuration of COVID. So it's like a key. It jams the door, and you can't open the door, okay? But that, that, that COVID floats around, mutates, and it finds a way around that particular key. So the mm-hmm. longer it floats in society, the more it adapts and mutates, and then the vaccine is no longer going to completely wig it out. So then at that point, you have to have another vaccine. So can you catch it with the vaccine? Because I've had all of them. And still yeah. die? Of course you can because it keeps changing. And the vaccine is only good for a certain amount of time before it changes and goes <clears throat> around it. It doesn't mean the vaccines are not worth getting. It means that the, the longer this virus goes on, if people like you do not take the vaccine, do not wear a mask, <clears throat> the more it has a chance to adapt and come back again. That's what it means. Why well, do you think, think there's a new flu shot politifact. every year? That the old one doesn't politifact. work. It's because politifact they mutate and that need more people to be changed died from all COVID. the time. And how about you listen to real facts instead of your horse shit that you keep spouting that's not remotely verified by anyone of any intelligence or medical degree? The yeah, same that's, reason that's we true. have to get a new flu shot every year is because things I, change. That's right. And I'm not a big fan. Can I, I, mean, can I, I just I read think, this little paragraph? I, Since April 2022... I, I just want People vaccinated to against COVID-19 have comprised the majority of COVID-19 deaths. The majority. Okay? Yeah, you guys need to just them. grow up well, and well, face the, the, the facts. And, and we put this out. We, we, we put this out. We, we I'll, give this out. Out. I'll give it to you right now, sir. So it's 77% of our pe- population po- right now. Politifact.com. And you can just Google it. Politifact. So it says. I'm sorry. It says since the April 20. You're not reading from the Journal of Medicine. It's the CDC. You're from it's the CDC's data. You know what the CDC is, right? The Center for Disease Control. Yeah, but that's since not. April, since April Politifact. Since April 2022, people vaccinated it's against COVID-19 have comprised the majority of COVID-19 deaths. But I'm going to tell you why. Because the majority of people were vaccinated. No, uh, sir, I want no, to tell you something. No. We have 77% now in the blood, 77% of our population, that's three-fourths of our population have had COVID, and some of them don't even know it. So some of them yeah, I agree with that. Very light, they may have gotten a light case and not known it. They may have gotten vaccinated and got such a light case they didn't know it. But the, it's in the blood now that 77% yeah. Have antibodies for it. That means there's 25% like myself that have never had it. And of course, I don't go to rallies. I don't go expose myself in restaurants to this day for that reason because I have other conditions. Now, here's another thing you didn't consider medically in your when you read. You've got to understand there, this became politicized. So when it became politicized, people would point to anything but the actual primary cause of death. So they say, well, so-and-so has diabetes and asthma, and that's why they died. It wasn't really COVID, okay? And they tried to say that the COVID numbers were exaggerated. Remember that? I do. Yeah. So let me tell you why, why that doesn't work. When we had 3,000 people die on 9-11, you can bet your bottom dollar, and probably 90% of them had something. Some unreported, undiagnosed, underlying condition. We don't right. say they died because they fell from the from the, they died from diabetes and they fell off the tower. We say the primary cause of death was falling off the tower. And exactly. it's the same in a car accident. It's the same any any kind of primary cause is the the catalyst that causes organ failure or whatever else happens to you even if you have an underlying condition. So the primary cause in COVID was COVID, even though they might have had uh, liver failure or kidney failure or maybe diabetes or something else, they would still be living if they hadn't gotten that COVID. Well, I don't know if that's more like a conjecture. 
that's not science. You can't say they would still be living. Yes, I mean, how would you know because that? COVID was listed I, as the I, primary cause. Because, because it says it says right here on PolitiFact, and I just randomly pulled this up, but I can pull up a zillion different sites. Uh, even CNN had it, Fox News, if you what prefer you them. Rich, but it says since April question, 2020, maybe. yes, let me Rich, just finish my sentence. Since April 2022, I, I don't care. people... People vaccinated against COVID-19 have comprised, listen, the majority of COVID-19 deaths in the U.S. compared with unvaccinated people. Now, to the lady that was talking uh, with the medical facts, do you know what percentage of people in the U.S. received at least one shot, one vaccine? No, not no. I only know 77% of them have had COVID. I know. It, it was about 80%. Of, so of, of the United question. States, at least Rich one, they've received Rich one shot. Interesting. I'm in Rich, the 20%. Rich, I didn't get the Rich, vaccine. Rich, can I ask you one question? Why does it yes, matter? If, if I decide that I want the COVID shot, if I decide yeah. that I want the COVID shot, and you don't yeah. get the COVID shot, what does it matter? So this whole thing It doesn't matter. I agree with that. Yes, yeah, obviously it does to you. It, 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 no, it doesn't, whole thing turned into it doesn't politics. matter. I am telling you that the family member in my, fa- in my family, my extended family, was a Republican MAGA supporter, and he would not get the vaccine. His brother is also Republican, and he did get the vaccine. So what I'm telling you is it was, it is political. It was political for him, and it killed him. Because maybe there was a chance that he could have lived if he would have taken the vaccine. That's my point that I'm trying to make. And so right. I don't care about PolitiFact or anything else. Because when you have someone that dies because they didn't get the vaccine, then I'm sorry. You, it's a sad situation. So you cannot, you know, it's not political because it is political. Oh, I, I totally, let me agree with you. Let me agree with you. I, I totally agree with you that it is political. However, we can't deny the fact that the majority, and, and seriously, I, I, I'm sorry for your, your loss with your brother, I believe it was. I really mean that sincerely, seriously with the utmost highest respect. But um, I'm, what I'm saying is there are people that have had the vaccine that have died from COVID, and there's, it says that vaccinated people since April 2022 have comprised the majority of COVID-19 deaths in the U.S. compared with unvaccinated people. Now, let me just finish. I'm not saying the vaccine killed them. I'm not, I'm not even going that far. It could have, it could not have, but it could be that the vaccine just ain't worth a bucket of spit and people, Mm -hmm. just the majority of people that have the vaccine have died because Look at what's happening with, with Jill Biden. The poor thing's got COVID Jill a million Biden times, and she's stuck he's up like stuck Trump. like her uh, grandma's he's pin he's cushion he's, with needles in her. He's healthier than Trump, and don't even bring that up again, because that's very disrespectful, okay? Well, what's disrespectful? disrespectful? Well, let me talk about our president. Very disrespectful. But, no, Jill let's, Biden. That, Jill Biden had the... Yeah, Joe point. Biden's the been boosted and vaccinated like a zillion know. times, and she's always so getting what? COVID. What you, what's your point? So you are making it political again. And how do you no, know? No, I, I'm talking you about the wrong. efficacy of the how vaccine, you know? that it's, it's basically how worthless, you know? okay. it appears by fact. It's not had 10 right, we'll have, Okay. We'll, we'll have it's limited only. time on everything. Back in the day, in the 1930s, when polio was a thing, everybody... Or people are dying of polio, and people got polio vaccinated. Now, today in this day and age, you know, people are not dying yeah. from polio. So, you know, um, it's a good thing when vaccines come and the CDC approve them, and everybody Agreed. has with that. You know, that's a good thing, you know? So, and TV, uh, and, and, and smallpox, you know, by the way, is coming back. And smallpox. And mm-hmm. Okay. I, I agree and with that, David. Know, but this okay, vaccine doesn't seem to be worth a bucket of spit. No, because you let yeah. it run. Because, you keep because it, it evolves. Spread it. it evolves and mutates the longer you keep it in the population. Let me tell you, you know what, what they did in the old days. Typhoid Mary, ever heard of her? 
She had typhoid. She was an immigrant to this country. And in those days, they mm-hmm. didn't fool around. I was almost going to say something else. They didn't fool around. <laughs> they put her on an island, and they wouldn't let her enter the United States. And she had to live alone on that island because at that time, mm-hmm. they had no way to stop typhoid. And by putting her in isolation, total and complete isolation, they couldn't, she couldn't spread it. They did the same for leprosy mm-hmm. in Hawaii. They put them on an island because mm-hmm. there was no treatment. And it spread, and your limbs mm-hmm. would fall up. Your nose would fall up. Mm-hmm. That's what they did in the old days. And quite frankly, we should have had a hard close down, a very hard close down, mm-hmm. you know, just like Italy did. Italy had truckloads of bodies in the street. And those Italians could not leave their apartments or homes to shop for groceries. Only one person in a whole family could do it. And they had to have a, mm-hmm. like a hall pass. And the police checked that hall pass. And that's why they went into the stores with their masks on. And they, because Italy mm-hmm. didn't want to see truckloads of bodies continue. Here in the United States, mm-hmm. Trump didn't have the guts to set, set it down on a hard shutdown for three months. And instead, it mm-hmm. floated and it mutated. And it's still mutating because you still have people like my state that said, uh, wear masks. You, I can't tell you how many times, because I was doing a house at the time, I went, had to go and pick out paint and uh, different supplies, and people would walk in with defying the governor's orders, wear, not wearing their masks, spreading their germs everywhere. That's why can, the vaccines are not working. It's people can I like ask a, you. Can I ask a medical question? Doesn't it seem yes. almost logical that you'd be better off to get COVID while you're healthy and build up, like you said, your antibodies? Well, your and by the way, David... David, kff.org has that, has that. What if you're not uh, healthy and you don't know it? Underlying condition. What if you have that? Yeah, it's good to get a checkup with your doctor. And then the doctor says, yeah, yeah, everything you. An underlying condition. I'm answering it. I'm answering it. Listen, it says CDC data shows that. About six in ten adults dying of COVID nineteen were vaccinated or boosted. He doesn't understand. And that's remained okay. true through at least August twenty twenty two. This is KFF.org. Okay. dot org. Okay. So these are okay. Last I'm giving you the facts. facts. I'm not giving you more. Last question before I can let you go. Last question. Yes, David. Go ahead, David. Okay, last question. Uh, do Do you think Donald Trump will get a nomination, and who do you think he'll pick as his running mate? Hmm. Okay. So I think, uh, did you guys, I think he's, he's going to get the nomination for sure. I'm going to predict mm-hmm. on your show, David, I'm going to make a prediction mm-hmm. in about 14 mm-hmm. days or so. And if I'm wrong, you mm-hmm. guys can rub it my face. Uh, Nikki Haley is going to drop out. Um, mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. I, I'm guessing about 14 days from now, whatever today is the 28th, you guys. Um, mm-hmm. Did you hear that they wanted Kennedy that Trump was pulling yeah, around Robert with Kennedy. Yeah. Yes, yes. What do you Robert think about Kennedy. that? Uh, it might well, be a way, think, a way uh, to bring Robert you Kennedy and I Jr. together, all of us together. <laughs> no, Robert Kennedy Jr. Is, is not like his father, nor his uncle. Robert Kennedy Jr. is a crackpot and probably crazy, the drugs that he did. <laughs> you know, like fried his bread. Why is his voice like that? And he, you know what? He talks kind of like his voice is. Do you have a disease or something? Well, yeah. no, he did drugs uh, in his youth and everything. It really messed up his voice box. It almost killed him. Uh, but, you know, the okay. ideas of what, you know, what, 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 you know, out there about, um, you know, different shots and different, um, you know, everything causes autism, what have you, with the shots and with the vaccines and different vaccines. He's not a medical doctor to, 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 to you know, say things like that. You know, and he's yeah. not a Democrat. I'm sorry. He's just Democrat in name only. He's not like his father. He's not like his Uncle Ted or Uncle John, who was president. He's a crackpot. He's a loon. I'm sorry. You know, and, you know, I think this is the end of the Republican Party if they choose Trump again because of choosing, uh, you know, a, a, a dictator over principles, over the Constitution. I think it's dangerous. You know, in America, well, if that don't happens, I'll just have to join your group. I'll just have to join your group, or well, that one lady says, you're effing group. 
<laughs> yeah, well, I, um, I have a question right. for you if you, if you want to entertain it. Um, quite frankly, I believe Trump is going to be convicted. He's got five or six different uh, lawsuits and stuff going on. Um, what would happen to the Republican Party if you put all your eggs in his basket and he's convicted of insurrection and something else and he's knocked off the ballot? Because already 13 states have actually removed him from the ballot. Yes. I think mm-hmm. what's going to so happen if they done? start knocking him off, they're going to – you've heard what um, – DeSantis said, he said, well, we can get Biden off the ballot. Well, the, the red states will start doing it. I don't agree with that, by the way. But the red states will mm-hmm. say, well, then we can say because he hasn't been protecting America and he's been letting the illegal immigrants do custody. Oh, Jesus so, Christ. So that's what they're saying. Well, um, but okay, David, to you answer your money? question, I would like, but here's my vice president pick, Rand Paul. Please. That'd be my oh best my vice Lord. president. No, no. Oh, God. Run, Paul. Oh, yes. God, we go. Well, who would you well, like, David, for the Republican? That's I mean, a good one. Uh, it's not just that they removed it's... him from the, the thing. Even if the Supreme Court mm-hmm. allows him to be on the ballot, our Constitution will not allow him to run for office if he's convicted of leading an insurrection. And he's got two that could do that to him, the Georgia case, and the other case. Mm-hmm. Now, everybody exactly. Said, uh, a lot of the people that were in on it have already testified against him to save their own ass. Okay, mm-hmm. so you could be in a situation where at the last minute there's a conviction that comes in and he's completely mm-hmm. gone and you've got, what, a month or six weeks before the election. We didn't do that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You've got to have a yeah. backup plan, and I don't see it in the Republican mm-hmm. Party. There is no backup plan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, David, I, I'm gonna, I want to be very respectful because David's so nice. All you guys have been so nice. I really do love you guys. And all okay. joking aside uh, about your brother passing, I'm really sorry to hear that. I know lots of people that were unvaccinated and vaccinated that have passed Thank from that you. dreadful disease. Do you guys b- believe mm-hmm. that it really was like caused by a bat, some guy eating a bat, or do you believe it was from the lab? I don't mean to get political, but I really sincerely. I, uh, yeah. I have I no idea. No idea. Uh, I believe mm-hmm. that because, because of the so fact that. People have been uh, eating bats forever. So I'm yeah, kind of right. leaning towards the. Mm-hmm. I, I lean towards the lab, mm-hmm. and I'm going to tell Me you, too. there's a medical person, I've researched a lot of stuff that's not known to the public. And almost every country in ours, including ours, has research labs all over the place. And they do secret research. And sometimes <laughs> they, we've actually had monkeys get loose. They were highly infected with oh my uh, stuff God. that they were testing. And they couldn't tell anybody. Mm. So they would like <laughs> chase these monkeys around. In, near the lab, and, and the small town and, uh, wouldn't know what the hell is going on. That has happened oh my more gosh, than that's once. that's so funny. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is. Oh I mean, it's God. happened. Mm-hmm. And it happened with Ebola, mm-hmm. too. They, they were doing some research on Ebola, which is bloodborne, and some of the test animals were running mm-hmm. around and detecting them. And they never, ever, mm-hmm. ever make this known to the public. You have to go and mm-hmm. dig and dig and dig through um, medical journals and uh, there used to be certain groups that would expose that kind of stuff that goes on, you know, like weaponizing viruses and tried to do that. They did a mm-hmm. lot of crazy stuff in the Department of Defense and stuff. Mm-hmm. Now, with the Internet being more sophisticated, they have that information kind of locked up. But 10 years ago, you could still trip over it. And they don't t- mm-hmm. they never tell anybody what's going on. They just chase the monkeys around and try to, you know, contain the, the problem. But it's happened multiple times here in New York. So it's, it's entirely mm-hmm. possible. And no country, even China, is overpopulated. They're not going to deliberately let loose a virus on their own people. You know, nobody mm-hmm. wants to mm-hmm. lose all the little warriors. Yeah. You know what I mean? So there's no, there's no mm-hmm. motive for them to do it on purpose. Yeah. All right, Rich, thank you so much for calling yes, in sir, tonight. Thanks for having um, me. You know, thanks for great, having me, yeah, David. I love you guys. Yes, sir. Yeah, thanks right. so much. All right, thanks. That was Rich from California and everything. Uh,